Good day folks, my name is Christo Teron. I'm responsible for the advanced courses in VAT um, for the tax faculty. And now, today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the advanced course in cross-border trading. You will accept that um, or appreciate that when it comes to VAT, VAT in itself is not that complicated. But when it comes to the international movements of goods and, the, and services, of course, and the intricacies of the relationships, it's very important to understand the business, understand what else has an impact on the VAT, and thereafter add the VAT principles to that. And that's what we're trying to achieve in, in this course. Now, in this course, we're dealing with a number of topics. I'll quickly run you through the main ones, so you get a sense of what it, what it deals with. The first topic is international movement of goods, just general principles. So we tell you um, how, 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 how does it work, how does the international movement of goods, uh, how is it affected in, in the marketplace, um, and it gives you a good sense of what is the difference between VAT and customs. Then we have a session on direct exports, the detail of that, how, what, what are the rules, what do you need to do um, to comply with those rules. Uh, and what are the documentary requirements, all, all the stuff that's needed when you do direct exports. And as, as you would probably imagine, the next topic deals with indirect exports, basically the same, same stuff, but to the extent that it deals with indirect exports. Now, as you probably know that when it comes to indirect exports, that's where our major risks are. Um, so it's very critical that we understand what the playing, uh, what the playing field is. Then we've got a session on zero-rated services. I often get questions um, from in, the, in practice around uh, zero-rated services. I supply a service to a non-resident, it must be zero-rated. It doesn't work that way. Often works that way, but doesn't always work that way. So we need to understand what the nature of the service is. And once we understand that, we can go the next step and, and link the services to the VAT rules. Then we go into more specific um, topics in terms of, uh, of zero-rated services, specialized topics. We're dealing with zero-rated transport services. In the next session, we're dealing with um, zero-rated uh, services in respect of supplies to foreign-going ships and aircraft. As you can see, it gets more and more specialized. These rules are all contained in the VAT Act. We need to know when they apply. And then on, in the next session, topic seven, um, zero-rated exports, export related services so when goods come into South Africa goods leave South Africa and certain services are supplied in relation to those activities how do you deal with the VAT let me look at topic topic 8 uh, the importation of goods um, certain basic principles specifically with regards to the VAT uh, of that who, who is the importer who is the person responsible for customs, who is the person responsible for VAT. Um, in the next topic, topic 9, we deal specifically with uh, input tax on, on imported goods. When can it be claimed, by whom can it be claimed, and what documentation should you have, and by when should you have that documentation. Then we, we end off the, off the course with uh, a short session on imported services. Now the good news is you don't need to do all of this. Um, all the sessions have been set up as standalone sessions, so you can purchase one, se one se session, a section. So if you only want to do that, you only buy that, buy that section and you only, um, you only uh, have to do that. Each session also has a specific um, assessment linked to it. No, don't worry, it's not an examination, it's just an online assessment. So the assessment you do online and all it does, it really tests whether you have understood the content and whether it is, is yours um, to use in, in practice. So that's just really a self-assessment. Self but it is important to get a sense of is this, has this, uh, the content achieved what we tried to achieve. If we've completely missed um, the, 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 the point, then of course please let us know and we will gladly change the content. You're also welcome to do all of these um, as a single course. Um, not only do portions of that or chunks of that, you also, if, you, if that is what you want to do, but then you're also welcome to take a third option. The third option is there is a formal exam. Uh, so you do this, you'll then get credit towards um, future courses 
uh, and qualifications in the, in the tax faculty. For that there is a formal examination, unfortunately nobody likes that but that is the way it is. So we write an examination uh, other than the online examination that gets marked um, as like any other um, university. So in short what we've tried to achieve is deal in depth with very complex issues but at the point, at the level where you can either drill down only into the topic that's relevant to you or all the topics or take it the next step and um, do a complete course where you write an exam and get a qualification linked to that. So hopefully we'll see you in, in this course um, either at the, at the granular level or at, at the uh, doing the full course but we certainly believe that this is something that that um, should be part and parcel of the knowledge base of everybody uh, operating in the field of international trade and also in the field of consulting in that space. Just a last um, reminder, you, you will get complete notes with whatever option you take, you get complete notes. The handbook is about 200 pages, so if that doesn't scare you away, nothing, nothing will. But it is critical information for businesses and for people operating in the uh, environment of consulting. So this is me, Chris Teron, checking out. Hope I see you checking into the course soon.